Hey guys, Amsterdam here with a new video and today we're going to talk about a more general topic so nothing WoW specific and it's more about YouTube and uh, in the background you're going to see some footage of a TBC private server called Netherwing. I've been leveling on there three times for it's actually not bad, pretty good population and uh, yeah, just enjoying leveling there while I'm going to um, rant a little bit about YouTube and uh, what I see is getting more vicious and what I mean is the ads. Now, maybe it's just me but I'm noticing more and more that the norm in terms of ads is becoming two uninterruptible ads that both last 20 seconds for pretty much any video that you click on. And as someone who's been using YouTube since 2006, so I've seen a lot of changes. I've uh, seen, you know, the, the start of ads where it was just one that was maybe 15 seconds. And then the uh, interruptible ads came that were two minutes, but at least at five seconds, you could stop them and it's just been getting worse and worse and worse. And today I wanna to give you a little bit of insight on uh, how things work with ads in terms of a content creator and uh, just uh, like I said, rant a little bit about it if that's okay with you. Now, I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret. I, as a YouTube content creator, I use Adblock. I know that sounds very hypocritical, right? Because as a content creator, I monetize my videos and of course, I make money when people uh, watch the ad or click on the ad or whatever. And it's uh, very hypocritical to then use Adblock when of course I prefer that my audience doesn't use it. But you know what? I really feel that the experience on YouTube's in terms of ads is getting just more and more worse. And like I said, I really feel more and more people are um, putting these uh, uninterruptible ads on YouTube. And like I said, we're getting now uh, two ads in a row. Um, even in the mid-roll ads, you're getting two ads in a row and it's just getting worse and worse. And you know what, it really sucks because the whole reason that I moved away from regular TV to let's say things like Netflix and YouTube is because I just got fed up with the ads. I don't mind some commercial breaks uh, in TV, but it got to a point where I was like, just I was just getting fed up and I was looking for a different platform. So then I resolved to Netflix, then I resolved to YouTube, and now I see the same thing with YouTube where just the ads are getting more and more vicious. Now, let me tell you guys um, a few things about YouTube, right? Because if you see a one minute video where you see two uninterruptible ads that are both 40 seconds long or in total 40 seconds long, I mean, it's not necessarily the creator's fault. Now, if you're not a partner on YouTube, the way it works is that if you upload a video, Google or YouTube will put ads on your video, whether you like it or not, because that's one of the ways YouTube kind of earns their money and makes it a profitable platform, whatever you want to call it. That's where they get part of their revenue fund from is just whatever people upload, they put ads on it. So if you're not a partner, you have no choice in what type of ads are under that video. You just have none. I have a, a smaller YouTube channel that I just upload some random stuff on. And of course, with my main YouTube channel, I can always uh, switch if I want certain ads and I'll talk about it a bit later. And when I uploaded that video, I saw ads under that video and I was like, wait a minute, I didn't want to monetize this. I don't want ads in this video because I don't want to uh, try to make money off this video because I know it's not, it's not gonna get a lot of views. And I don't want it to be annoying for people to view this video because you know, if you've seen a video that's once again, a minute long with two uninterruptible ads that are 20 seconds, people might not want to watch it. So that's one part of the equation. If you see someone that uh, you know made a viral video that's very short and he has 100 subscribers and he's not partnered, uh, don't get mad at him because he's not a partner, so he has no choice or no voice whether he wants ads on that video, uh, whether he likes it or not. Google will just put them on there, you know, uh, regardless of what you want. However, as a YouTube partner, I can choose what type of ads I want under my videos. I have a selection between banners, I have a selection between uh, interruptible ads, and of course I can put on uninterruptible ads. And if my video is eight minutes or longer, I can put mid-roll ads under that video as well. And in that point, the uh, content creator or the YouTube partner actually has a decent amount of freedom um, what type of ads they want to put under the video. And unfortunately, again, this is gonna be a bit of a rant. <laughs> what I'm noticing is that more and more content creators are getting, um, let's say more comfortable with putting uninterruptible ads on every single video. And it's a bit of a shame because once again, uh, like I said, I'm a YouTube content creator, but I use Adblock. It's just getting too much for me and it really sucks. And I really think that those uninterruptible ads 
are too much. Now you might wonder, hey, you, hey, hamster, you're you're you know you have ad block. How do you know it's getting more vicious? Well, because I also use YouTube on my phone, and up until recently, I used YouTube, just a regular YouTube app on my phone, and I got so fed up with the ads that I des I decided to download an app called Playtube, which is kind of the same like YouTube, except there's no ads. And it kind of sucks for the content creators, but I'm sorry, they're getting too vicious and I'm just getting fed up with it. So those are two things you really have to keep in mind. If you're not a partner, you have no choice in terms of what ads are put under your video. And if you are a partner, you can choose whether you want interruptible ads, uninterruptible ads, or of course, no ads at all. That is your freedom. And not to toot my own horn here, but you know, I'm going to be, I'm going to toot my own here, horn here a little bit. I always try to put in interruptible ads on my videos. I don't want to put uninterruptible ads because I believe that's just, like I said, too vicious. Uh, it's just too much for the viewer. And I think that just the overall viewer experience is not as enjoyable as it should be. But here's another thing that I noticed with uh, videos. What YouTube also does and this is something I had to realize later when I watched videos on my own because apparently YouTube didn't tell me or I don't know, maybe maybe they sent a mail and it uh, I didn't I didn't see it then it's on me. But apparently what they do is if you have older videos that don't have ads when let's say I was not a partner yet, I couldn't monetize it. What they do, they put ads on those as well. So if I have older videos where normally my norm would be, hey, I just want to have interruptible ads, no mid-roll ads, that's it. YouTube doesn't care. They will just put ads under that video according to what's the average. So let's say uninterruptible ads. And if I want to change that, I have to go back to every single video where I didn't do it before because I have a lot of old videos and manually change everything in terms of those videos. And that's really darn annoying. So that's another shitty thing that YouTube is deciding to do. Again, what they're trying to do, of course, is they want to put as much ads under these videos because they want to make as much money from these videos on YouTube because that's, again, part of their revenue. And I really feel like, you know, as with many other business practices or any other products like cars, uh, music or whatever product, they're really trying to push uh, the audience, they're really trying to see how far they can push the audience um, and how much they can tolerate in terms of ads. I've, uh, you know, I follow a few YouTubers and I'm also seeing that they're trying to put ads in cars. They're putting ads in cars and it's getting that crazy. And I really feel we're getting to that push in YouTube as well. And you know what, to be perfectly honest with you guys, um, I would definitely not use Adblock anymore if the partners themselves, because they have the freedom to choose whatever ads they want, if most of them or a good majority of them that I watch would not use uninterruptible ads. If they would resort back to, uh, to interruptible ads, I definitely I would turn off Adblock. And I think, you know, I can only speak for myself, but I think that if uh, that more people would do the same thing if these ads weren't so damn vicious. I know and I, and I understand what you're thinking. You know, if you're doing YouTube full time, of course, you know, you're you're very worried. YouTube is your business, that's your lifeline, that's how you put food on the table. I understand that you're trying to make a living. But, you know, you got to kind of weigh that against how enjoyable it is for people to watch your videos because if the ads get too vicious, they'll install ad block and then you get no money whatsoever. And um yeah, again, it's going to be a bit of a rant, going to be a bit of some off-roading here. And I've seen some YouTube content creators say that they need to be that quote-unquote vicious in terms of ads and sponsors and whatnot in order to make a living. And you know what? I'll extend an olive branch. I completely understand. But at the same time, what I've heard some say is that if they can't do YouTube or if they can't make enough money from YouTube, to you know, pay their rent and all that. So to pay, if they can't make a living off of YouTube, then they're gonna say, well, you know what? Then I'm not gonna make videos anymore. And if it's really that bad, where you you either make enough money to uh, be able to make a living off of YouTube or not, you're going to completely stop making videos. If it gets to that point where you can't even consider, you know what? If I'm not making as much money as before, you know, what I'll do. I'll I'll take a part-time job. I'll still make money as a, as a side hustle, they call it, and uh, I'll make money that way, then, uh, man, you lost your way, man. You really lost your way. So I'll leave it at this because the video might get too long. I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an insight how ads work if you're not a partner versus 
if you're a partner, um, the freedom, the choices that we have as partners, and some of the things that YouTube does to older videos, and how I personally think ads and ads are getting worse and worse on YouTube. You know, with the, like I said, these these un multiple uninterruptible ads on YouTube. I think it's just too much. And um, I'm gonna talk to you guys directly. I completely understand that if you that you watch my videos and you have ad block. I don't blame you guys. I, of course, would like you guys to turn it off because that means I make more money from ad revenue. But you know what? At the end of the day, I don't do this for a living, so it doesn't affect me that much. I don't make that much money to begin with. It's some pocket, it's some pocket money every month, but it's not that much. And uh, again, I completely understand given how vicious they are. So yeah, I'll, I'll leave it at that. Um, hope you guys kind of enjoyed this rant. Hope you guys enjoyed this little... Um, bit of extra information if you will um yeah i don't know call it of a call it the ramblings of a man that's getting old because these days i'm 33 years old maybe i'm getting more perceptive and you know seeing how things are changing and you know maybe i'm just getting old and i should get with the times or whatever but uh yeah overall not a fan of uh the way things are going with youtube in terms of ad ads and i completely understand if people start using ad block more and more so yeah, I'll leave it at that before I start to sound like a broken record. Again, I hope you guys uh, kind of enjoyed this video. It's a bit different and more free-flowing, if you will. And uh, that's it. So, as always, I want to thank you for watching this video. I'm Amsterdam Wheel, and have a good one.